Hello drone friends, this is Alan at UAV Coach and Drone Pilot Ground School. Happy Friday morning, welcome to our Drone Weekly News Roundup. This will be the last roundup of 2022. I will be taking the next couple of weeks off. Uh, okay, I've got three stories to share with you this morning. And then at the end, uh, I wanna share some drone footage I shot from an event here in Nashville just a few weeks ago. Our first story this week is about DJI's newest drone launch, the Mini 3. So this is a toned down and less expensive version of its predecessor, the Mini 3 Pro. It weighs under 249 grams, uh, allows you to shoot in either horizontal or vertical orientation. Uh, it has a standard flight time of 38 minutes or wait for it, wait for it, 51 minutes with the Intelligent Flight Battery Plus upgrade. That is a lot of time for one battery. Um, it is also capable of recording 4K HDR video at 30 frames per second with dual native ISO. And even though it's quite small, the Mini 3 can fly in winds going as fast as 23 miles per hour or 38 uh, kilometers per hour. So if you're looking for a small and compact drone to take on your next adventure, this one might be for you. Uh, as of right now, it's selling for $559 on DJI's website, and that comes with one standard battery and a standard DJI remote controller, and um, you can certainly make uh, upgrades from there. And while staying on the topic of DJI, they are currently running a huge holiday sale, offering as much as 40% off on uh, drones and drone accessories. Uh, the sale is running from uh, December 12th through January 1st, so you still have uh, some time. Some of the highlights are 190 bucks or 15% uh, off the DJI Air 2S Fly More Combo and $220 or 42% off the DJI Action 2 uh, Dual Screen. Check out the link below to see the full list of products that are on sale. Our last story this week involves one of the biggest companies in the world uh, potentially getting into the drone game. Recently, Apple secured a patent for drone remote controller technology. The patent covers systems for pairing and unpairing uh, UAVs, unmanned aerial vehicles, to UAV controllers, as well as technology that can support uh, tracking, so drone tracking. Uh, Apple initially filed for the drone patent last year, only to receive it just this month. Uh, and although they just secured it, this doesn't necessarily mean the company plans on making drones or drone remote controllers, but it does seem to hint that Apple is certainly considering a future play into the drone world. So really cool to see that. All right, those are the stories for this week. I want to share some drone footage from a Thanksgiving morning road race that's been going on here in Nashville for the last few decades. Uh, these are some pro bono shots of the race, uh, and I'm flying a DJI Mavic 3 Pro. Uh, fortunately, there were a lot of front yards and other homes to fly over, so I didn't have to worry too much about flying over people. I will say that I did coordinate with the executive director of the race and local police department uh, ahead of time to explain that I'm licensed, uh, insured, my drone is registered with the FAA, that I had done uh, my airspace research and have been cleared to fly. Uh, they definitely appreciated all of that information. Uh, anyways, I just wanted to share that footage with you all. I love getting out there and flying my drone. I uh, sadly don't do it nearly as much as I'd like to these days. And uh, frankly, just really lucked out with some beautiful weather the morning of that race. I've tried to film events like this before. And when the weather is beautiful, uh, it makes it a lot easier to get good looking footage. Um, all right, that's it for this week. Uh, show us some love by subscribing to our YouTube channel and liking this video. Um, let us know, what, uh, what do you think of the new Mini 3? Uh, how about Apple's uh, potential involvement with drone technology? Uh, comment down below. Uh, always uh, love reading comments uh, and, and hearing y'all's thoughts. Um, hope you all have a great weekend. Uh, hope you all have a next uh, wonderful uh, last couple of weeks uh, to, to the year. And um, we'll see y'all next year. Wishing you uh, blue skies and safe flying.